Hey Dawson Dudes, Seven Slaves, my kinky folks, uh, my fetish lover, my worshippers. Um, basically, I'm just going to talk up briefly about, uh, what did I say I was going to talk about? I just kind of go, as you see, I never write things down um, for videos. Uh, I wanted to talk about, answer some of you guys' questions, um, some of the popular questions that I have gotten and talk a bit about where you can find a kiki playmate um professionally and pro dom i know i did a approaching a dom one but i think from there and a few other videos people were asking like well how either to incorporate that into their relationship where to find a kinky playmate um pro dom and not so of course I'm a professional dom so I'm all about helping out my other professional dominatrix and the thing is you can definitely find you um a kinky playmate might not be a long-term relationship might just be um kinky time to play just like any other thing that you do in your spare time any other hobby or thing that you really enjoy so there are plenty of sites that will help you and usually in your area especially in your if you're a bigger city or city area you'll find them in rural oils too you'll have munches and meats and this is the perfect opportunity to meet your local kinkster crowd so i would advise you to look that up in your area and a great place to start is fat life or collar space um there are some apps King make sure you guys are following a fem Nation. that is my separate um site and i'm getting subs to help me as well um follow that on twitter and also check out the site right now i just have a few fetish things up there and a few sex work things but it's really going to focus on a lot about um kind of a lot of things that we kind of talk about um more female domination fetishes but uh, did I retweet the thing? I don't see it up there. But, like, one of the things I did mention on mine was, um, hold on, I think. Here we go. So, Kink D. First heard about it. I've had her, excuse me, um, I just did a burping video, so burps are just gonna keep coming. I personally, um, haven't used it myself, so, but I am on, I am on Collar Space, and I am on Fat Life, and... I have, in bold, biggest day, I am a professional dominatrix. No, granted, I do have subs that serve me in person that don't necessarily pay per se. All these subs have known me for a while. They've been vetted. And to be quite honest, I initiated taking them under my wing, not the other way around. So I will keep that in mind. Um, well, you guys should keep that in mind when it comes to trying to be a personal slave for a uh, pro dom like the how can you be a slave thing like i talked about in my other video yeah that no no professional dominatrix really wants to hear that um it kind of just comes about like most likely they have probably done some paid sessions with me they might have um what i'm about to say done some work for me completely free i mean of course because we know that I'm not paying the mail um it's all about female supremacy but anyways um yeah, so they probably have done some things for me, whatever the case may be. You know, we could have, they might know me in a different sense. They just might know of me. We might just chat on a more friendly basis. And the next thing you know, they are kneeling down, taking my requests and demands or whatever crazy things I can think of. But uh, yeah, um, that's kind of how that go for me. And from what a lot of other pro doms I have spoken to and other things, that's necessarily how I go for kind of personal slaves or submissive it could be that you might even you know find yourself in a relationship and find out the guy is submissive and then they become like the personal slave so you know if you are trying to be a personal slave for a pro dom it's probably not going to happen as i guess i want to say as magically as you think it's going to happen yeah you can be a personal slave in the sense that you will be paying for their time being a good slave buying their videos giving them tributing random you know supporting them financially as well as you know anything else but to literally be like maybe someone who actually 
spend some time, you know, days on end, and it's for you're not really necessarily maybe paying, or you might be, but it's more on a personal note. You might even be a living, you might even be just a weekend living or different things. Um, yeah, just think about how you approach that. Now, if you just want a plain kiki mate, just that, just like I stated, color space, fat life. Um, Kink D, there's another one I actually, that I actually hasn't used, and this is, I call it my secret um, app. So, Vanilla Umbrella. Now, I wonder, do they, I haven't been on a while, so let's actually check it out. The cool thing I like about Vanilla Umbrella, and I downloaded it a while when it was kind of first in, the no, okay, this is taking forever. First in, I want to say, I first heard about it or whatever, is that when it's on your phone, it comes up. As like a weather app, like this dark, like theme weather app, and you have to tap twice to actually get to the real app. So it's not like people don't think it's like a dating app it's or like a you know a kinky meat place. So that's awesome. So um, these are what I'm saying. Those are the places to start out to find kinky people in your areas. And I'm actually going to pause this, get me some more fluids because I have been filming a lot of videos and I'm just feeling a little um dehydrated and then we'll do a part two and come back for questions and things all right dolls and dudes, subs and slaves look at that all right